what's up my name is tech here for troubleshoot and welcome back to another video in this video we'll be going through the steam awards 2021 all you have to do is fire up steam head across to the store and click the banner at the very top for the steam awards if you don't see the banner in the description down below you'll find a link that you can drag and drop into any store page to be taken across to the correct place anyways when you get here we can now vote on the Steam Awards until about a month from now. So all you have to do is run through all of the categories here, voting for one game in each of them, and eventually you'll have tasks at the very bottom to complete in order to get all of the badge levels over here. Each badge level gives you 25 XP towards your profile, and it's free to do, so why not do it? There's some more information down here talking about the badge, and of course the voting process. But we'll get to these in just a moment. For now, we have to nominate at least one game, and we have to nominate a game in each category. So we'll scroll up to the very top and begin. All you have to do is click nominate next to a game category, and then find one that fits whatever bracket this is. If you don't see it on the list, you can search for it by using this box over here. Of course, do try and keep your votes legit instead of just clicking whatever. If you see a category like this, VR Game of the Year, you'll need to just look at this guide here and vote for something similar if you have no idea what's going on. There we go, now I've filled something into every category, although admittedly some of these I just clicked at random, and for the VR game I just searched VR to click on one of the results there. Regardless, I've now got two of the four levels here. The next easiest thing to do is review or update a review for a game that you've nominated. So simply find the game that you nominated, click on it, scroll down on the page, and you should see a review block. Otherwise, if you've already reviewed it, your review will be over here. Simply click view your review if you've already written one, and you'll be able to edit it here. Now simply add a full stop, save changes, and now if we head back to the store, then to the Steam Awards, as you can see, this has now been ticked. Finally, we have a play a game you've nominated. Now, assuming you have one of these games installed, you can fire them up, and you're basically done with. But let's assume that you don't have one of these games installed, what's the simplest thing to do? Well, you can change one of your votes and fire up the game, then change it back. Or if you prefer to use something like Steam Achievement Manager, for which you'll find a link in the description down below, you can download the latest release, then the zip over here, open it up, extract all into a folder, and in this folder, run sampicker.exe and choose one of the games you voted for from this list of your Steam games. And you'll be quote unquote playing a game that you've voted for. I'll simply click on any game on the list and type in a game such as say CYPER. I'll jump straight to Cyberpunk, double click, and I'll be able to edit what achievements I have. I don't actually want to do this, but if you have a look at my friends list over here, you can see I'm playing Cyberpunk 2077. If you were to check my library, you'd see I didn't even have that game installed. Anyways, we're now done with all four of the tasks over here, and we have our level 4 badge, granting us 25, 50, 75, or 100 XP for our account. Super simple, all four of these are ticked, and that's really about it for this challenge. So, thank you all for watching, my name's been Technoba here for Troubleshoot, this has been the Steam Awards 2021, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao!